Hello and welcome to this video playing Muha 750. So it's back to back. Mm -hmm. I had a weird gambit line recently. Let's see, takes d4. It uh, didn't turn out to be so bad for black. Okay, so it seems that um, Muha here is uh, gone to the Tarash without really uh, having any any knowledge because this is already pretty awful. White is better now in many ways. You can take e6, which is um, a fairly fairly huge advantage, or you can take on c6. Both is um, yeah, both is very good. It's a tough call. I'll take him. The problem is that it's just the bishop is too early here on c5. Is one of the problems. Let's see. Now I'm threatening knight a4. And here, yeah, here I will get the bishop. As c six also hanging. Question is, do I just take it or mm, hmm. I'm hesitating because um just going b4 is also quite interesting let's do this this also um seems quite nice really hmm. e4 yeah e4 is just good for white Okay, he's totally unimpressed, uh, it seems. Pawn takes queen d2, no, takes with the bishop. Yeah, here queen c3 is one of the good lines. Sorry, so let's see what he does now. Knight f6, okay. Okay, if I go look. Yeah, rook e1. There is nothing directly happening on f2, but something to, to, to check. Taken no. or knight c5. Hmm. That's a tough call. What I wonder is if bishop h3 next is an idea. Yeah, maybe. Preserve the bishop and um, get get a little tempo there on the on the rook. Okay, a four, a five. Right. So one idea here is rook e5, intending rook g5. Uh, 
Rook e5 is also threatening to take <coughs> to take rook d5. It's interesting. Okay, now rook g5. Threatening queen takes. Mm, it's it's not super convincing. So a5. I can also play. Combine all those ideas. Bishop a3. Queen c7 is not so good. So let's prepare a6. We can never play knight e4 as I just take it. Or rook e8. Maybe c5. Hmm. I thought that helped me. A6. I probably should move the rook away from from e5. I just wonder where where exactly to a1 maybe support the pawn or or is simply bishop a3 going to be strong? It is probably just strong, yeah, bishop a3 next. And then a combination of rook e7 and bishop c5. Yeah, so it's probably strong. Um, just remove this from the slightly exposed position. He wants to go queen f3 here. I have no time. I've got absolutely no time. What did I do with my time in this friggin' game? I mean, it doesn't help to outplay the guy totally. You have to also win. Time-wise, I mean. Yeah, just, just uh, two pawns down. What a game, man, eh? really. Uh, if I would just win like half of the games where I'm totally winning, I would probably have 200 more winning points or something. I mean, games like that are really um, impossible to not win almost, but I I'm constantly manage. made I should be shot for this I mean it was just like a complete complete route yeah from from start to finish basically and then I'm totally losing the threat here yeah okay so this is a pretty awful opening where white is better <laughs> yeah you can take c6 you can take e6 this is also very bad. It's just a matter of what you want to do. Now the light squares are killed. Anyway, th this is also clearly better for white. So it's not a not a huge thing. 
So then you remove the knight without any particular whatever, um, allowing e4. And now this is a structure where white should just win, yeah? Well, at least, it, I think it's very close to, um, to a winning advantage. The engine is just like on plus one, which is, yeah, it's moderate. Um, yeah, rook e5. Maybe maybe that wasn't so great, but I mean, it is it is a huge advantage. And now just a little bit of precision would be would be enough to just win this. So rook e1, queen f5. Look a1, so f3. And now just a little bit, just a little bit, one or two precise moves, and the game is just over. So queen a3. Queen a3 is winning, okay. Nah, this is not easy, yeah? This, uh, this kind of thing. It's very likely that um, I can do something better here. Rook e7 is immediately over. Not even sure why. I mean, okay, I'm covering this. And he still cannot move the knight, and queen f3 doesn't do anything. Okay. Yeah, it's just. Uh, yeah, queen d4 is just weird, yeah? Just whoosh, giving this. It's probably still winning. One point something, yeah? But now I completely, completely lost the threat here, giving giving this away. And now you cannot that, ca that you cannot hold. It's two pawns. Uh, completely losing the threat there. Hmm. Yeah, I took. Where, where, where did I? I should probably. One problem is sometimes if they play those dreadful openings, I take too long trying to. Trying to completely refute it, yeah, like make it. I actually was doing this rather quickly. Oh, how is the, how do I have to read this? Yeah, it took it took really long around here. Yeah, you should just I should just play quicker there. It's it's something where I mean you're better anyway, so don't uh, think for ages. By the way, I just see after he did this, I can do I can take here, right? This is just game over actually. The air pawn will just win here probably. That was a huge miss. Okay. Guys, thanks for watching.